I always enjoy these deep conversations that I have with, with other people. It's so funny for the majority of my life. I just wanted surface conversations because I didn't know how to deal with all this. So I wanted to keep as surface as possible so I could keep the facade up, keep the lie going. And it's so funny once that change started. And now it's like, I, I don't, I don't have a room in my life for surface. I, I want to get to the juicy stuff, the good stuff, the deep stuff, and actually connect that at not just a a level of of being with a person, but actually like spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Like I, I love getting into the deep because it's so satiating. It's it's one of the things that keeps that keeps that fulfillment stream running is connection and environment. But so it was interesting because I when I have these conversations, these topics come up and I just I get so excited. I always want to share them. And so as we're going over some of some of the things in the in the past and looking from different lenses, it was interesting because I started sharing some of my some of my top issues, the problems, the pain, like, like you know all the crap that we all go through. One of the things that that one friend said is is we used to to talk and share about well, have I been traumatized? Have I not? This happened. This happened. And in doing this for so long now, I, I have not met a single person that doesn't have some form of trauma growing up because they're raised by parents that are imperfect or caretakers that are imperfect. It's, it's just part of how we live our lives. But it comes down to the story that we tell ourselves. You know, we, we think we're so unique with our problems. I remember for me, I used to think my problems were so private and intimate. No one would understand. I, I didn't want to talk about them because I was so ashamed. But as I started to open up, I found person after person. It was like almost everybody I knew said, oh my gosh, I struggle with the same thing. And of course, as we get older, we get more life experience. We begin to mature a little bit different. But just because we age chronologically doesn't mean we age uh, in maturity. And so I want to have you consider that one of the things that was told to me, <laughs> I, I love these aha moments. It's, it, 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 it's one of the beautiful things about working in addiction is you, you're always looking for the next aha that allows this, this transformative revelation that you can start to apply to your life and your life just continues to get a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. But it's funny, going back to the days when I would complain, yeah, man, I was such a complainer. I still do from time to time. I'm, I'm trying to get better. I try to catch myself. But it's interesting because I would complain more and more and more. And it was interesting because someone said, man, you, you, you're such a thief. Like, seriously, you need to stop stealing. And it caught me so off guard. I'm like, I, first of all, I was triggered, which was a beautiful mirror up of going, okay, why is this triggering you? I, I don't steal. I think, I, I think a Debo, I don't kill, I steal. Um, I don't steal. Like, what are you talking about? And he goes, you continually steal other people's problems. What do you mean? That one, that one kind of hit. Like, what do you mean I steal other people's problems? You continue to take on other people's problems, other people's stories, other people's narratives. And then you're taking on your own problems and stories and narratives. How much more freeing would it be if you stopped stealing from other people and allowed their problems to be theirs? Stop getting into their lives. Stop driving in their lane and stealing their problems. I remember just thinking, I'm like, oh, how much would, how much easier would life be if I stopped stealing other people's problems? See, there's a part of me as I, I wanted to fix people. I still struggle with it a little bit, getting better. But I, I wanted to fix people. So I would find problems and then start, start meddling in other people's business. I had a lot of pain. It pushed a lot of people away. A lot of friendships were ruined because I had the audacity to say, no, 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 what, what you're doing is wrong. Let me help you. And I, I, I couldn't see the old, you know, the old saying, the old plank in my eye. But I'm talking about the specks in the others. And so I'm understanding this and thought, man, how much more freeing would life be if I just stopped being a thief? If I stopped robbing myself of joy, if I stopped stealing other people's problems, and I just became free. Be okay with other people having problems. Being okay with me having my own problems. Doesn't mean I'm a bad person. I don't need to judge myself for it. Problems are part of life. 
Nobody signed up for Earth saying, "Hey, it, it's going to be perfect. I'm in." No, it's it's perfectly messed up. But the the more I learn from these these interactions with other people and seeing the different pain is that we're also similar. And that I no longer need to carry other people's stories. Stories of when I was being a bad kid or I sucked as an athlete. These are all other people's stories. Like I, I would steal these issues. And so one of the most freeing things in life and in recovery is learning how to appreciate these parts of us. Appreciate the athlete that sucks. It's all right. I don't need to be the best. At one point, I did. It was part of wanting to receive love, not feeling worthy. But when I understand that, it becomes so free. And then I, then you can just give yourself permission to just play, just be you. And the most ironic thing is, is the more we tend to play, I mean, think back to just the innocence of children. The more they play, the more fun they have. At some point in our life, we stopped playing. We started carrying all these problems, started stealing other people's problems. We started hoarding all these issues, keeping them locked up just in case. Those garages that are filled to the brim. Why are you keeping all this stuff? Well, just in case. Why are you keeping all these problems that happened 20, 30, 40 years ago? Well, just in case. I like to carry it all around. It's so freeing when we understand that I don't need storage anymore. I'm going to stop running the storage. I'm just going to let everything go. I'm going to learn how to be free. I no longer need to sedate. I no longer look to numb out. I get to experience life the way life was designed to be lived. Everything that's happened to me, it was supposed to happen that way because it did. <laughs> like Imagine tomorrow when the sun comes up. You start yelling at the sun. What are you doing? You shouldn't be up. What are you the sun comes up. You know how we know because it keeps coming up. It's arguing with something that's supposed to be the way it is. But you're arguing that, dang, the sun shouldn't be coming up. I know it's so simple, but we do this in our own lives all the time. Argue or blame, shame, the guilt of how things should be or shouldn't be. And when we argue with reality, we get hurt. Reality has a perfect track record. Never lost a fight. But us, on the other hand, dang, that is a bad record. But here's the cool thing. Once you learn to become reality, once I learn to say, okay, I, I want to be fully present. I want to stop attaching labels and meanings to what happens in life. In fact, actually, I want to one-up it. The meaning of life is it happens for me every single day. Everything that happens is exactly going to happen the way it's supposed to happen. And it's so freeing because what it does, it opens up the space for you to actually create, what is it that I desire? Define the desire. What is it that I want in life? And then you've seen some of the other videos. If you're watching this, I assume you've seen the other videos. We do a lot on actual training on the five foundational freedoms. This is how we begin to build the life we desire across different modalities of life. And we literally start to design what it is that we want in life. No longer a victim, no longer stealing other people's problems, mislabeling, misdiagnosing. We actually get to live. So I'll leave you with this question. How much more free could you be if you stopped stealing other people's problems? <laughs>